a few updates here. I went ahead and put a tack in yesterday and a voltmeter. Um, I'm probably going to get a new dash because that hole over there. So uh, this is kind of for the meantime, just to get things running, uh, see how it does. Um, so I uh, got the gears in. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the high speed gears today. Uh, so you'll see that ring gear. The ring gear replaces uh, that ring gear in there. And then uh, this this other one is kind of hiding down there. So um, what we'll do is we'll pull it all apart and um, we'll get the new ones in there. All right, so what we're gonna do here is take this bad boy out in here. Put that on the side. And then this one comes out. There you go. We'll go ahead and swap those to the new set. And then we'll be good to go. Put them back together. So it's time for some technical specs. Um, these uh, bolts right here are only torqued down to about 25 foot pounds. So it's not too much, but it's definitely just enough to uh, to uh, get them locked on there. Uh, the same goes for the rear end. For the case, when you seal the case back together, it's 25 foot-pounds. Um, so it's not a lot. You think it's just enough. Also here, we'll show you a difference. So that top bearing and top ring gear get uh, reused. And this is the new ratio. You can tell a difference. So this is for 2002, which is a... Uh, so these gears will fit a 97 and up gas golf cart with a Kawasaki rear end and these are six to one ratios factory ratio is about a 12 to one so you're looking at about a 12 to one ratio now we're going from six to one um, the reason for that is the big block uh, Vanguard or basically any aftermarket engine runs the opposite direction so I'm gonna be running reverse to go forward uh, reverse in these is about 17 to one so uh instead of 12 to 1 so i'm going from 17 to 1 um it should put me about 9 to 1 or so uh, from what i've seen online so i'm gonna count it um after we get them in there and we'll see exactly what rear, uh, what ratio i'll be running uh, to go forward so i got this neat little contraption uh just basically a handheld bearing puller um and it makes things very easy <coughs> when it comes to pulling these bearings off. So it just clamps around the bottom of the bearing. You thread this rod all the way down. A little difficult to do with one hand, but, and uh, you may have to adjust it a little bit, but uh, you know, you get the idea. There we go, like that. So we got the rear end back together. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, after you put the sealant on, you put the rear end back together, hand tight all the bolts, let it sit for an hour, and then come back and 25 foot pounds all the way across, uh, star pattern, bottom top, bottom top, bottom top, all the way around, uh, alternating, uh, to get a nice even seal on here. And uh, that's what we wanna see, just a little squeezed out. Just a little squeezed out. And I think next time what we'll do is we'll throw the rear end in and uh, still waiting for the engine to come in and we'll go from there.